Muy buenas a todos y bienvenidos a otro vídeo más de Tales Obsilia y bien en este vídeo ya sí vamos a terminar todas las misiones secundarias que nos quedan antes de hacer las misiones de las bestias del diablo y también el final y bueno seguramente supongo que querréis saber más sobre el pasado de Liz, supongo, de hecho estoy seguro de ello y bueno, es la misión que más interés nos puede dar de momento, por lo menos en las que no he completado. Y bueno, la misión se llama Lo que ya hace en memoria, ya sabéis, que trata sobre dónde estaba la casa de Liz y bueno, sobre su pasado. Y por eso creo que es la misión que más nos puede interesar en este vídeo. Todas las demás son, sin más, misiones secundarias sin demasiada relevancia ni interés, la verdad. Pero bueno, básicamente, ya sabéis, la misión, bueno, la información que nos daba... Jorgen era que básicamente la casa de Liz estaba en los antiplanos de Mon, pero ya sabéis, esta es la zona de los antiplanos y en todas las veces que hemos visitado esta zona no hemos visto ninguna sola casa, así que algo falla en eso, ¿no? Y bueno, básicamente se trata de esta zona, aquí es donde tenemos que ir para poder acceder a... bueno, ya lo vais a ver, pero tenemos que ir a la Cueva del Silencio, se llama así esa zona, que bueno, de hecho forma parte de los antiplanos, pero... Es una zona aparte. Y bueno, como veis, esta es la zona, no hay mucho misterio, es una cueva normal y corriente, como todas las que hemos visitado hasta el momento, que la verdad se parecen muchas. Y bueno, como veis, la zona está bloqueada aquí por unos pedruscos, eso más de uno se preguntará, ¿y cómo narices paso yo a la siguiente zona y todo eso, no? Estoy seguro de que más de uno se preguntará cómo hacerlo. Y bueno, básicamente, como no podemos ir directamente porque hay un montón de piedras ahí en medio, tenemos que ir por aquí, a esta zona más o menos... Y por aquí debería haber un túnel, vale, aquí está, aquí ya sabéis, el típico agujero. Así que bueno, ya sabéis, cruzamos al otro lado y bueno, ya está, hemos aparecido en el otro lado de la cueva y ya no debería haber ningún problema. Solo hay un único camino a seguir y, y no hay nada más, la verdad. Could be the place Jurgen told us about. But I don't see a house anywhere. It's been ten years. It could easily have fallen apart by now. Let's try looking around a little bit more. No, this is it. This is where my house used to be. You sure? Elise's flowers! These were in our garden. So your house really was here. It's okay. Thank you, everyone. I feel a lot better now. Tipo, you said these were Elise's flowers? That's what they called them. Couldn't tell you why, though. Jude, what are these flowers really called? Are they native to this area? They look like princessias. Normally, you don't see them in a place like this. Her parents must have planted them back when they still lived here. And don't all flowers have some hidden meaning behind them? Yeah. I can't really help you with these, though. They mean priceless treasure and a long and happy life. This may be a stretch, but these flowers may represent what your parents thought of you, Elise. At least, that's what I'd like to believe. Mother. Father. I'm impressed that you put that together. You shouldn't be. After all, you were the ones who taught me what it means to be human. La verdad es que ha sido un poco cruel finalizar la misión. Pero bueno, Ellie se merecía saber lo que le había pasado y dónde estaba su casa. 
Y bueno, ya sabéis que Isla básicamente también recibió, no sé, no sé si decir su merecido porque al final, no sé, ella también lo pasó mal, pero lo que hizo me parece imperdonable, imperdonable, perdón. Y la verdad, pues no sé. Unas perlas en el árbol, eso sí que me parece raro. Vale, a ver, a valores misteriosos. Tengo 56, no sé para qué serán, pero bueno. A ver, aquí... Más perlas, ¿vale? De acuerdo, pues con esto ya hemos terminado otra misión más. Así que ya no nos queda nada que hacer en Rismaxia y vamos a ir a Triglet. Honestly. I don't know how you keep a nursing job when you can't even stick to a simple schedule. <laughs> It's nice to see that Olympians are as human as we are. No kidding. Carrie? No puede ser. A ver, a ver, a ver. Carrie es la era la es uh, no me digas, es la hermana de Nactigal. O sea, el amor de Rowan. Carrie. It's you. You're alive. Wait. Nactigal's sister? Oh, yes. My name is Carrie. ¿Qué, qué? But I'm afraid I don't know who you are. You. I'm sorry. I can't remember anything from much. When I washed up on a beach here 20 years ago, all I could remember was my name. Wait. Do you know who my mother used to be? Um, no. I merely met her once before, when I was working with her husband. Oh, are you in the military too? Forgive me for not recognizing you. You meet so many people as a soldier's wife. No, no apologies necessary. It was a long time ago. May I ask where your husband is? He's away on an expedition right now. I haven't heard from him in a long time, but I'm not worried. Ever since he found me 20 years ago, Julius has never broken a promise he... <laughs> Mom, could you stop gushing to complete... <laughs> okay, okay. Come on, we need to get going. Hey. When the schism was breached 20 years ago, the tsunami must have brought Carrie all the way here to Olympias. Aren't you going to go after her? I... I don't know what I would say to her after... I don't even know how to feel about this. No me lo puedo creer. Oh, pobre Rowan, en serio, pobre Rowan No me lo puedo... Ay, madre mía, se le ha roto el corazón ahora mismo, seguro Pop quiz How many people do you think live in one of those giant houses in Triglav? Have you always liked pop quizzes this much? I've never noticed after all Oh, I know Did your love of pop quizzes awaken while I was dead? She's always liked pop quizzes Oh I hope Lady Drissel is faring well. Why not go to the manor and... Drissel must be worried sick about... Oh, worried about me? Oh, my. Yo todavía sigo diciendo pobre Rowan. Madre mía. Su eterno amor, casada con otro tío y encima tiene una hija y ni se acuerda, y ni se acuerda de Rowan. Pobrecito, en serio. Madre mía, me quedo de piedra.
Have you heard the news? The Sven family finally settled on a new patriarch. Took them long enough. Didn't the old patriarch die in that Zenithra accident 20 years ago? Along with his wife, son, and younger brother. Talk about a tragedy. Hey, the real tragedy was the heirs fighting for his title. That sure wasn't pretty. That only lasted what? Close to two decades? Nothing like a family feud to brighten up a day. <laughs> Tell me about it. You wouldn't want to be anywhere near. Definitely wouldn't want to. Svent? Hey, Alvin? Yep. That's my family. They're pretty famous here in Olympias. And where does Gillen fall? He was my dad's little brother, and the head of one of the lesser Svent lines. He always resented my family for having the stronger position in the line of succession. But then my dad died in the accident that left us stranded on re leaving a young me and my helpless mother to fend for our- And Gillen saw that as a chance. Worse. He took advantage of the situation and tried to legally steal my claim. He used the Svent name to create Exodus and push the Otherworld reactor plan. All so that when he eventually came back to Olympias, he, he spent 20 years scheming from a whole- Yep. Even I got it. So if we hadn't stopped him, I'd probably have been erased the moment his plan succeeded. What about now? You heard the ladies. There's no place for me there. Besides, I've been a feral dog for too long now. I then... You're all stuck with me. Oh. You could at least try to hide your disappointment. <laughs> me encanta. La verdad es que Gillan era un, era un capullo y vamos, se mereció lo que le pasó. Por listo, sobre todo, si os acordáis con la escena que tiene con Celsius, la verdad, me pareció de un auténtico bastardo lo que él hizo, la verdad. No sé, no se puede pegar así a la gente porque sí, pero bueno. Y por lo demás, ya sabéis, hemos completado otro suceso. Eso sí, Alvin sería un, estup un estupendo líder de, de la familia o de lo que fuera, no sé. Alvin... Puede que haya tenido sus problemas, pero en serio es un personaje que me parece perfecto para no sé para gobernar. Where's Muse? I, I don't know. Are you friends of hers? Did Muse leave or? Pero qué estaba haciendo aquí? Are you okay? Qué estaba haciendo aquí? En serio? A little bit off. Muse must have gone out the window. Are you better now? Yes, sweetheart. Thank you. Your eyes. I appreciate your concern, dear. Can you see us? I can sense you. I may be blind to light, but I've learned how to see other things. Vamos, que no sabe que estaba hablando con un espíritu, bien. I need to ask you something. I know Muse was here. What was she doing? Before I answer, could you explain to me? Well... Mew is Muse's sister. Elise. Shh. Let's just make this easy for everyone, okay? Muse's sister? Yes, very well, since it sounds like you don't mean Muse any harm. I first met her five years ago, when my daughter and I, Muse happened to be there, and she saved my life. She saved your life? <laughs> she told me she only did it on a whim, but even though I had survived, I had lost my will to live. My beloved daughter, who had read to me every day, was gone. But one day, I asked Muse if she would read to me instead. And she said yes? She did. But I could tell that she hated it at first. Just another of her whims, I suppose. No way! Lo mismo que tipo. Al final Muset va a ser una buena persona, al fin y al cabo. 
cuando no se le va la pinza. Es hasta buena persona y todo. I can't believe it. She is a very kind girl and a little bit timid, but I suppose that's true of most. I'm sure you have your reasons for chasing her, but if I may, I'd ask that you please try not to hurt her. Mila? I understand how you feel. Good. That's wonderful. Why are you smiling? I'm just relieved to hear that. La verdad es que mi intención tampoco es dañar a Musen, a mí me cae bien cuando no nos intenta matar, así que no sé. No sé, es mi punto de vista. A mí Muset me cae muy bien. Pero, claro, ha tenido sus momentos de... No sé, de... Ya sabéis, lo habéis visto, en serio. No sé cómo clasificar eso. Y bueno, ahora vamos a ir a Bailan. Bueno, vamos a ir a hablar con Bailan, ya sabéis. Nos saltó una... un diálogo de ir a hablar con él. Sobre todo por algo de Alvin, así que venga, vamos a hablar con él. I imagine you must know lots of embarrassing stories about Alvin. I do. In fact, embarrassing stories might be the only Alvin stories I know. This I gotta hear. Shall I tell you one? Eh, por mí no te cortes. One more word and you're dead to me forever. Well now, this is a conundrum. Cuenta, cuenta. I know. How about a... Truly, an Olympian's answer to everything. Now, now, Alfred, you know better than that. Gambling is a long and proud Olympian tradition. It has some bad points, but it has good ones, too. Would we be betting money? Certainly not. We can choose to bet anything we like. For example, we could bet on whether or not you can find a light leaf clover. Me está tomando el pelo, ¿no? If you can, you win. And I'll air out some of Alfred's. What's a light leaf clover? It's a clover with golden leaves that grows on the sides of. Olympians consider it a good luck charm. I've heard they once grew along Rasal High Road. Then this should be a piece of cake. So betting is a hallowed Olympian tradition. Okay, let's go check out. Hey, wait a minute. It's been ages since a light leaf clover was seen on the high road. And so... Alfred, are you really going to waste my magnanimity? This is why. Hmm, está bien saberlo. De acuerdo, vale. Lista de sucesos actualizada. En busca del trébol de hoja luminosa. Sounds like our best chance to find a light leaf clover is on the Rusal High Road. It's a clover with sun-colored leaves, right? Let the hunt begin. Me esperaba un diálogo más profundo, pero bueno. Ya sabéis, ahora tenemos que ir a la carretera de Rusel o de Rusalle, por decirlo ahí un poquito como está escrito. Y bueno, básicamente, ya sabéis, es la carretera que está justo al salir de limpios, es imposible perderla, en serio, es imposible no saber dónde está a estas alturas. Y bueno, ya sabéis, vamos a ir por ahí y tenemos que encontrar ahora mismo un trébol luminoso, ¿vale? Y en un principio suena hasta fácil, ¿sabéis? Suena hasta sencillito, pero claro, después nunca es sencillo. Uy, uy, que me hacen un encerrón ahí los jabatos. A ver, vamos a coger aquí. Madera de calidad, vale. A ver, eso no es un trébol, un trébol, vale. Puede que en cofres o no sé, algún monstruo especial ahora. A ver, nada de esto. Esto ya lo vimos la última vez.
De acuerdo, vale. Bueno, pues vamos a la fortaleza de Heliobor. Ya sabéis, aquí ya hemos estado antes. A ver si hay alguna escena ya de paso, vale. Eh, nada, por aquí nada. No way. I can see. Thank you so much. Oh, really? That's wonderful. Wait. Aren't you from Riza? You all are too? How did you get here? Hey, can you believe it? I can see. It's all thanks to this spyrite this lady made for me. They're already making spyrites? This must be Balin's doing. Wow, this place is a myth. We're getting some very valuable data here. All thanks to the cooperation of these Riza Max. Have you learned something? Oh yes, many things. For example, we've confirmed that Olympians and Riza Maxians are biologically identical. Really? But I thought Olympians didn't have mana. As it turns out, Olympians have the same mana lobe region that Riza Maxians do. The only difference is that ours has devolved to the point where it no longer functions. Makes sense. Sometimes you got the lucky ones who can still use arts without Spyric. It's very, very rare, of course. They're usually famous entertainers or... So why did your mana lobes devolve in the first... One reason is that we no longer needed to use them once we developed Spyrex. But the biggest reason... Is that Maxwell took all the people with developed mana lobes when he created Riza Max. Correct. In Legends, this is referred to as the Great Departure. When Riza Maxia's existence was confirmed, and we learned that the legend was true... Hombre, se podría considerar también fuga de cerebros, por decir algo. It was a huge surprise. Not just in scientific circles, but to all people of Olympias. So basically, we're all the same kind of human, and we're all from the same world. Then I'm sure we can all work together, just like you got... Oh, wh what's the map? Wait a minute. How did these people get to Olympias? Los han raptado, no? Well, I, uh... Los han raptado, vale. Given the current circumstances... They were brought here under duress after your military invaded Riza Maxia. What's duress? As an Olympian, I apologize for the actions of our... But I promise you their rights have not been violated. They're cooperating with us of their own free will. <sighs> what else could we do? There's no way for us to go home. Really? I kind of like it here, to be honest with you. Back there, I was just a fisherman. But here, I can help save an entire... If this research succeeds, the repercussions will be huge. Right, Dr. Balin? Absolutely. And I'll make sure you're properly rewarded for your cooperation. We don't need your rewards. Just get us back to Riza Maxia. Uh, I know what we're doing here could help the people of this world. But is it so crucial that you had to rob us of our lives? Uh, I know we're acting very selfish here. I, I do understand. But we Olympians are quickly reaching a point where we may not survive without help. Please, help us. I'm sorry. No, I shouldn't have said that. This shouldn't have been one of the first things for you to see. I'm sorry. I've never seen Balin so desperate. But the Riza Maxians do have a point. Yeah. In the end, we're all human. I guess that's what makes this so difficult. Aunque yo esta vez apoyo a Balin, en serio... Esta vez apoyo a Bailan y no suelo apoyar mucho a los olimpiacos, pero... Vale, que los hayan raptado, eso está mal, eso está claro, vamos. De, de, se mire por donde se mire, eso está mal, pero... No sé, si ayuda a salvar un mundo entero, pues qué remedio, ¿no? Y bueno, otra escenita más que ya hemos hecho, así que a ver, lo siguiente ya... Vale, sería ir a la carretera esta de Russell, que es la que está saliendo... De este, bueno, de la fortaleza de Heliobor. Madre mía, ¿eran tantos pasillos la última vez? En serio, ¿eran tantos pasillos? Yo no me acuerdo, pero no creo que fueran tantos, ¿no? Mejor vamos a hacerlo a lo rápido y a ver. Brecha, abismo, fortaleza, otros, carretera de Russell. Vamos a lo rápido, ¿no?
I'm so hungry, I can't go on. Jude, make me something. Is this a light leaf clover? Yeah, that's damn it. Balin told me these things were extinct. Extinct? You thought they were extinct? No, I just well, yeah. Basically. <laughs> well, all's well that ends well. It's a miracle. We've traveled to an entirely different world. Damn, I thought we'd got them all, but it looks like you there. Hand over that clover if you- Huh? Who the heck are you? We found this fair and- If anyone else finds a clover, we lose our bet. If you won't hand it over. Pero de qué están hablando? En serio, ¿cómo que apostar también ellos? Veterano técnico. Yo no sé qué decir. Maldita. Bueno, sí sé qué decir. Me voy a... En serio, me estáis tocando la... Ahora ya sí. Dios, con las puñeteras llamaradas, en serio. Pero bueno, a ver, básicamente no entiendo cómo de aportar, en serio, cómo de aportar. Pero me estáis vacilando, pero... Nah. Ahora nos vamos a enterar de quién nos ha estado tomando el pelo. Why would they just attack us like that? Wait a minute. Do you know something? Best not to talk out here. But... Yes! Now we get to hear an embarrassing- This is why I hate gambling. Let's bring the light leaf clover back to- And then we get our sto- a mí me interesa más saber cómo que apuesta, quién ha hecho una apuesta con esos tipejos que nos han atacado. Como haya sido Baila, me voy a cabrear, ya veréis. No sé, aquí esto no me ha gustado esa... que alguien me tome el pelo, la verdad. De acuerdo, a ver, ya estamos otra vez en Triglet, así que venga. Holy, I can't believe you actually found a light leaf. If we'd have bet money, you'd have made a killing. All right, make with the embar. Oh well, a bet's a bet. <sighs> Which one are you going to? Let's make it the one about this very clover. When Alvin was five years old, he wanted to do something for Aunt Leticia's, for his mother's birthday. He came up with the idea of giving her a crown made entirely out of light leaf clovers. Sounds like that could be difficult. Right, even back then they were quite hard to find. So little Alvin thought long and hard about what to do. After a lot of thought, he came up with the idea of painting regular clovers the color of light. That's brilliant! Is it? He gave it to Leticia before the paint was dry, and she ended up getting it all over her hair. 
Al final no era tan buena idea, parece. Alvin was even more surprised at this than Leticia was, and he started out of habit. He buried his face in her hair as he tried to apologize, and ended up getting paint all over his face. The end. <laughs> That's so cute. That was a wonderful story. You really loved your mother, didn't you, Al? I'll get you for this, Balin. <laughs> oh, talking about Leticia, has, oh, they were absolute perfection. I'd give anything for one more bite, but unfortunate. Balin, you hang on to those memories. She may never have made it back to Olympias, but at least we can keep her memory alive. Even if you asked me to, I could never forget about her, or about you, naturally. I'm glad I made it back. Una estupenda escena, la verdad ha sido muy bonita. La anécdota de Alvin ha sido preciosa, la verdad es que ha sido preciosa. Lástima que lo de la madre de Alicia, bueno, lo de la madre de Alvin, ya sabéis que está muerta. Y no de un modo muy agradable que se diga. Y bueno, ahora voy a echar un vistazo a los sucesos. A ver, tenemos en progreso Las Bestias del Diablo, Rosa y Mono, Visiones, fe, fe, visiones Febriles de Amor, perdón. De acuerdo, vale. Los medios para un fin. Y las, vale. De acuerdo, vale. Vamos a terminar ahí la misión de, de Rowan. Ya sabéis lo de... Con su eterno amor. Y bueno, tenemos que regresar a Sarilton para ver la última escena. Exactly the people I was hoping to see. We just captured one of the soldiers from that airship. Wow! How'd you pull that off? Actually, he seems like a pretty strange guy. He actually turned himself in. He said he'd like to speak to Rowan. His name is Julius. Do you know him? El marido de Carrie. Ay, madre, que aquí se nos arma. Oh, madre mía, a ver. Lady Drusella. You must be Rowan. At your service. And you must be Carrie's husband, Julius. I should have known the conductor would already know the score. You give me too much credit. Carrie and I merely met by chance in Olympia's one. My question is, how do you know about me? Carrie had a ring with your name engraved on it when I met her. When I saw her using Calculatrix without a Spyrex, I knew she had to be from the other world. I volunteered for the other world reactor plan expedition, so I could learn more about her past. Why would you risk so much? You already know she loves you. Because I hid the ring from her, the one with your name on it. I didn't want her to have anything that would remind her of... I'm a coward who took advantage of her amnesia in order to steal her I saw for myself how deeply Carrie loves and trusts you. It was clear even 20 years ago. I'm not sure I could have ever done it. Julius, you must make it back to Olympias. Your wife and daughter are waiting for you. Your only sin is abandoning the people who love you. But there isn't any way for me to get back. Not to worry. We will ask. In fact, I insist upon it. However, there's no telling how long the dimensional breach will last. We should hurry. 
thank you. Rowan, it's been an honor to meet you. The honor is all mine. So Julius made it back to his family? Yeah. Carrie was overjoyed to see him. You should have gone with them. Oh, no, that simply wasn't possible. The way my back has been acting. Well, that won't do. You must take better... That voice. Carrie. I just had to come and thank you all in per Thank you so much. If it wasn't for you and your friends, we might never have seen Julius Rowan. How have you been? Se acuerda de Rowan. My beard's a bit longer, but other than that, not much has changed. And yourself? Apart from a few more wrinkles, nothing. <laughs> Those aren't wrinkles. Those are laugh lines. You seem very happy. I am. You do too. Oh yes. Spending time with so many young folk makes me feel if That's wonderful. But do take care of yourself. I will. Thank you. Rowan, are you sure about this? Please cheer up. <laughs> How could I possibly think myself unlucky in love when I have three lovely ladies looking after me? Now then, let us be off. I hope I grow up to be someone like you. <laughs> then you'll need another 50 years of training. It's not as easy as a... This must be the sensation humans know as hunger. Let's stop and eat something. La verdad es que pobre Rowan. Aunque el Julius ese también menudo listo de turno le quita el anillo con el nombre de Rowan. La verdad es que menos bueno no sé qué decir. La verdad solo no sé me hace sentir incluso mal, pero la culpa la tiene el Julius de las narices. Y bueno, por lo demás, ya sabéis, tenemos aquí ya unas pocas misiones que nos quedan. Serían plumas negro zabache, ya sabéis, lo de entregarle las plumas, pero el tío siempre pide más y más y más. El anillo trascendental, que es el jefe secreto, bueno, el jefe súper secreto del juego. Luego las bestias del diablo. Y por último, la rosa y mona 3, que, es los, bueno, que son las niñas de Sarilton, que nos piden un diamante, creo, rosa. Que bueno, eso ya lo haré en el próximo vídeo, así que espero que os haya gustado el vídeo, que os haya entretenido, que os haya resultado de utilidad. Y ya sabéis, hasta la próxima, así que, adiós.